Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a long overdue, from what I'm looking at, um, home fragrance empty. So I have many different vendors here as well as Scentsy. We're going to mix it up today. Normally I start with Scentsy, but I'm going to do Scentsy last. Let's just do something wild and crazy. <laughs> do something different. Um, I will link all of the vendors, including Scentsy, in the description box. The timestamp for when I talk about that particular vendor's empties. That way, if you're only interested in certain vendors, or if you are only interested in Scentsy, then you can go right to that spot in the video. Oh my gosh, I've got Teddy B, Second and Spruce, Britta, Scentsy, Dessa's, Destination, Bath and Body Works, K's, Lavender and Speckles, The Melted Moose. Like, I'm all over the board here with vendors today. So, let's jump in start with the melted mousse. I have one scent shot or scent cup. This is in gingerbread lane. This is gingerbread cookies, a cider lane and what the carb. I want to say summer sent this to me. If it wasn't summer, it was somebody. I know that this was a friend mail piece. It was not a, uh, something I purchased, but I liked this. I'm not normally a big gingerbread fan, but you really got the Cider Lane and her Wet the Carb. It's just such a good bakery scent that blended really nicely together. And I just love the Melted Mousse. So love that. We we'll definitely get that again. From Dessa's, I have a Marshmallow Fireside Type. This one is Toasted Marshmallows, Smoldering Wood, and Fire Roasted Vanilla. This is the Bath & Body Works dupe. I really couldn't smell this. Um, I actually split this and put this in two warmers in, I want to say, yeah, it was this room. I don't remember anything about this. So I'm not sure if I just wasn't in here very much or if it didn't have a great performance, but I don't remember much from this. I don't know. I have never purchased from Dessa's. I would like to, and actually her last pre-order really tempted me. There was a lot on the list I wanted, but I was trying to be good about as far as what I was purchasing. So maybe in the future, I'll get to try one of her pre-orders at some point. Um, from a destination wax, I have wood smoke. This was a breakaway bar. This says it is a straight up smoky campfire or fireplace scent. That's exactly what this is. If you're looking for the smokiest scent around, this is it. It's so Destination Wax has my favorite smoky scents. They have the most authentic campfire wood smoke type scents around. This smells like you're outside on a winter's day and you're driving and you're getting smoke from somebody's bonfire like off in the distance and it's coming up and hitting your nose. I love this. I've got one more breakaway bar of this, but if you like smoky scents, try I have three recommendations from destination wood smoke just the plain wood smoke winter's eve or scottish hearth now scottish hearth sounds like it could be getting discontinued so it might be harder to get but winter's eve and wood smoke are still available and they are amazing winter smoky scents love it so much I'm glad I have another one of those Bath and Body Works, really quick. I changed out a wallflower, so I put in fresh balsam. This wallflower lives in my office. It's really great for that space because I don't have any warmers in my office due to just the room um, where it's located as well as the furniture positioning. So a wallflower works really well in there. This is Woodland Balsam Crisp Eucalyptus Fir Branches and Cedar Wood. Just a good balsam tree scent. Perfect for this time of year. From Britta's, I have cookies under the tree. And this one is sugar cookie roasted pine cones and sugar cookie dough. What's not to love about this one? Amazing roasted pine cone. Plus you got the bakery notes. Really, really love this one. She's got a great pine cone oil if you like those types of scents. I would definitely get that again from K. 
Kay's scented melts. I finished a sample in Winter Wonderland. This was like a fruity apple type scent. I split this, um, this sample up and put it in the two bathrooms and it was good. I liked it. It's Winter Wonderland. I finished a clamshell in Frosted Pine Cones. This is apple, cedarwood, and frosted fir needles. This frosted pine cones, it definitely does give you like a frosted note. It's not like your roasted pine cones, which is a much more heavy scent in my opinion. This is definitely a brighter, fresher wood scent. It almost kind of reminds me of what a tree would smell like with fresh fallen snow on its branches and maybe you have the snow kind of hanging off the tips of the branches. That's kind of what I get from this. Really great scent. Loved that. Definitely would get that again. And then lastly from Kay's, I finished one of her Kay Cuts in Peppermint Pine Cones. So this is Peppermint Candy, Pine Cones, and Twinkies. So I had a clam of this last Christmas. Loved it so much raved about it posted about it on her facebook page i wanted more of this so bad so i went in got a k-cut bag of this and i'm actually melting this today it is so good um you would think that like the peppermint and the pine cones would really take over the blend and you wouldn't get twinkies but that's not true at all you really do get the twinkies the bakery note Plus you get the peppermint and you get the pine cones. It is a good mix of scents. And her pine cone is different than her roasted pine cone. She's got roasted pine cone, frosted pine cone, and pine cone. And they're all three different oils. So her pine cone oil is more kind of fresh and clean. Like in a good way, not in like a cleaner way. But just not in those, that kind of deep way that roasted pine cone is but it's really, really good. Love this one so much. If you like these scent notes, give this one a try, especially around the holidays. It's perfect. All right, one from Super Tarts that I finished, and that is in Harry's Holiday. So a lot of these, most of these are in my winter melting basket, so I am working really hard. I'm doing really well on melting out of my winter melting basket and making it quite a bit of progress. Still have a ways to go, but I am making a lot of progress. This is a scent that I melt pretty much only in the winter time because of the blue sugar. It really is like a winter scent for me. This is blue sugar, French baguette, and sweetened cereal milk. Oh, I'm sorry, marshmallows and sugar milk as well. So blue sugar, French baguette, sweetened cereal, marshmallows, and sugar milk. Really what you get is the blue sugar and the bakery bread baguette note. It is so pretty. She has a wonderful blue sugar. It just reminds me of like a cozy winter scent. And I love it. I did pick up more of it during Wax Wednesday, so I will have more for next year. All right, lavender and speckles, I finished off two. The first one is almost snow. So this says, what could have been, I smell snow in the Gilmore Girls restock. This is peppermint, sweet milk, creamy vanilla, and a hint of roasted pine cones. This was so good. It really was your very creamy peppermint, and it truly was just a hint of the roasted pine cone. Honestly, I could have had it be a little bit stronger because I just love pine cone. <laughs> so I want to smell it and everything but it definitely was your really nice vanilla peppermint scent. What It was really, really pretty. I'm glad that I picked that one up. And then I finished a large bag in Icy Vanilla Woods. So this is like her Bath and Body Works type. This is, to me, it's woodsy. It's masculine. It's cologne-like. It's good as a blender. It's good on its own. I melted this in the bedrooms and bathrooms like three different times. It is perfect. I actually tried to get more of this during the um, 
last lavender and speckles ready to ship kind of jumped my cart unfortunately but that's okay I know that she will pour this again but this is just such an amazing scent if you like fresh clean kind of masculine cologne scents give this one a try I think you'll really enjoy it all right from second and spruce I finished cozy sugar plum dreams this is Plum, Vanilla, Snowflake, Palo Santo, and Cashmere. This was a little like snowflake shape. This was good. Her plum is a little bit grape-ish to me. So I enjoyed this, but it wasn't a favorite. So I don't think I would get this again, but this was a strong, strong scent. A great performer. This lasted like 48 hours in my open concept before I changed it great performer. I really enjoyed the performance of that. Just scent preference wise. That's not like my number one. This one though. <laughs> this is Tipsy Gingerbread Man. Okay, you guys, this scent is life changing. That's how good this was. And I do not like gingerbread really in wax. Like it is a scent I really avoid for the most part because it can be too spicy for me. And I just don't really care for very spicy scents or spicy bakery. It really has to be blended with a lot of like creamy scents or vanilla to make me like it. So this one is gingerbread cookies, eggnog, and frosted sugar cookies. Oh my gosh, you guys, this was so good. I should say for the first like 12 hours, after about 12 hours of it being in my warmers, it was still really strong, but you could tell that the frosted sugar cookie, the eggnog had died off and you were really left with the gingerbread. And so I didn't like it as much because then it got to be too spicy for me. But those first 12 hours where you really had that creamy bakery note to it as well, I was obsessed with this scent. Her eggnog is so good. A little bit spicy on its own, but just such a nice creamy bakery scent. Plus with the frosted sugar cookies, this is unbelievable. Now I had this in my cart during her RTS and it jumped my cart. Unfortunately, I would have loved to have more of this, but that's okay. I will request this and hope to get some more of this scent. If you even have an inkling that you might care for gingerbread, try to get your hands on this one. I'm telling you, it will change your life. I told somebody, and I can't remember who it was now, that I like want to bathe in this scent. That's how good that was. So really loved that. Um, okay, the last vendor I have before we get into Scentsy is Teddy Bees, of course. Of course, of course, of course. I have a lot of old tubs from like a year or so ago. Oh, don't knock things over. So I finished both a tub and a sample in Morning Cup of Christmas. So I'm going to ditch that. But Morning Cup of Christmas is vanilla chai, cranberry chutney, apple marmalade, and a hint of fresh pine. So this was from a pre-order back in 2022, but she just offered this in this last pre-order. I did not pick any more up because I knew I had this one and this scent is just not for me. It smells like an artificial apple potpourri type scent. It's not my favorite. It's spicy. It is a good Christmassy type scent. This was a little too spicy for me. Not particularly up my alley scent preference wise. So I would not get that one again. But it was a good like medium performer. Next, I finished a tub, an apple caramel streusel cake. So this one is cinnamon spice cake, vanilla icing, brown sugar, crisp apples with a light drizzle of caramel. Okay, so this one, when I first got this in that pre-order, was so spicy to the point where I was like, I don't think I can melt this one. It was so spicy. This totally changed. I mean, you still got the spice. But since it's been sitting for a year, I really got the apples. I really got the sweetness. It wasn't as spicy. So it just tells you her wax really does change as it cures. 
I've, I've noticed this with multiple blends um, that the first impression of what you get really is not what it's like when you go to warm it as it has that time to cure. I really think Teddy Bees needs a long cure time, you guys. I know not everybody feels that way, but I've only had positive experiences when I've given her wax time to really cure. And the scent notes really are able to mesh together. This was really nice. Still wasn't a favorite or anything, but the apple, the cider lane type notes came out a lot more and it wasn't as spicy. So next I finished Anthony's cabin. You might be wondering why all the bags look like this. I've told this story a few times, but when she first started doing tubs, the tubs were cracking a lot when she was shipping them out. And so I ended up taking all of the wax out of the tubs, chopping them up, taking the label with me and just putting it in a bag just to make sure that the wax wasn't going to lose scent. So that's why you see a lot of these. Most of my wax does not look like this. It's <laughs> from like one specific pre-order where a lot of the tubs were cracked, but Anthony's Cabin is the next one. This was birch leaves, citrus peel, pine cones, white florals, vetiver, sandalwood, and woods. And this scent, again, really changed on, um, on Cure. This is much more tree-like to me now than it used to be. I used to get a lot more of like the citrus and the spices, but now I get a lot more of the tree. This was beautiful. This was a wonderful performer. I love her tree blends. I should talk about this one at the same time because it's very similar. God's Woods. God's Woods is Palo Santo, Birchwood Pine, and Vanilla Balsam. Her Vanilla Balsam is so pretty. It is so, so pretty. Both of these were just amazing tree scents. I would hands down get both of these at any point. She really makes the best tree scents. If you like tree at all, even a little bit, try her tree scents like God's Woods, Pacific Northwest Winter, Anthony's Cabin. There's so many blends. House of Dragons that are just such beautiful tree scents. So I would get both of those again for sure. And then I finished a loaf in hot pie. So I only have one loaf of this left. So now I'm going to start requesting this to come back because I don't want to go through that last loaf. I'm going to baby that, that last loaf until I can get my hands on more. This is Palo Santo, sugar donuts, a hint of chai, and a dash of pink chiffon. This is unbelievable. Natalie got me into this scent, if you know, you know, but it's just, it's unbelievable. It's strong. It is, you get the pink chiffon, you get the chai. It's not spicy. It's a beautiful bakery, but kind of perfumey as well. Oh, I love this so much. So if you see hot pie, vote for it because now I need to... <laughs> pick up some more. So I've gone through two or three loaves in like a tub or something. Still not over the scent. I'm not burnt out on it yet. So I'm going to need to get more of that. All right, let's go into Scentsy. Let's do Scentsy. I appreciate you bearing with me here. I am moving kind of quick, but I don't want to make a super long video, you guys. So I'm trying to get through it. Um, I put a scent pack in my hall linen closet here in Polar Bear Hug. This was from the December Woof box. This is like blackberry and fig or something like that. I don't know. The scent packs are hit and miss for me. I can't really smell it when I open that closet, but I don't know. Maybe I'm nose blind to it. Um, let's do... I've got a couple of bring back my bars. Maybe I'll do those separate. Let's do these first. So I finished a sugar plum berry. This is from the Sense of the Season collection. This one is spiced citrus peels, evergreen berries, sugar plums, and cinnamon sticks. This is stunning. Such a beautiful Christmas plum scent. Good, a good winter berry. You really get the spices, you get the citrus. It's not 
overwhelming on the spices though. Mm, I love this. I'll have to see if I have any more of that, but definitely we'll get more of that one. Arctic Kiss. I think this is the first time I'd ever melted this one. I don't feel like I hear too many people talk about Arctic Kiss. This is cool Arctic mint, fresh air, and vanilla clouds. This was a very pretty scent. I had this in my bedroom, in my master bathroom. This threw for like three days, I think, before I changed it in the bedroom. I enjoyed this. Nothing that I think I need more of, but it was a pretty scent. I liked it. Painted leaves. I don't have the scent notes on this one, but it's like blue spruce. They're tree notes. There definitely is some sort of like eucalyptus -y vibe to this because it has a freshness to it. This is one of the strongest bars you will <laughs> ever have. So I know it's hit and miss for a lot of people because it is very, very strong. I really love it though. I think I've got like 10 bars left. Um, I did end up taking it out of my club because I feel like I've got 10 bars of it. Like I'm going to be, I'm going to be sick of it by the time I get through with those. But right now I'm really loving it, but I'm loving tree right now too. And that could change. Winterberry apple tea. I have always described this as sweet plum pastries, older, more mature cousin because it's the plum, but it's got the spices to it. It is such a pretty winter scent. It comes back year after year. If you haven't tried sweet plum pastry and you like plum scents, if you like slight spicy scents, I would definitely give this one a try. And then I have done three, bring back my bars. So far, the first is Buzz Lightyear to Infinity and Beyond. I don't have the notes. I should look this up. But this to me smells like a grape soda. <laughs> and it, it's pretty. I had this in the wax room and in my bedroom. I split the bar between the two. This was strong. This went for like three days. And it's not grape soda like really in your face because I'm not a big grape person. But I really enjoyed this. It's more subtle, not as strong. I've considered even getting another bar of this. I don't know if I like it that much to get another bar, but it is a really pretty like fruity scent. So I enjoyed that one more than I thought when I knew it was kind of a grape scent. All right, Amaretto, another bring back my bar. Um, this one, I think I called this one of my top favorites when Charity, Natalie, and I did our first sniff of the Bring Back My Bar when we did the live because I love Amaretto. I love Amaretto sours and this smells just like Amaretto syrup like that you would put in an Amaretto sour. This was a powerhouse. This was incredibly strong in my open concept but you guys I did not care for this on warm as much as I did on cold. Something about the whole house smelling like amaretto was just kind of off-putting to me for some reason. I just didn't vibe with this on warm near as much as I did on cold, which, which was surprising. This smells great in the bar. It's very authentic to me, but wasn't a favorite. So I'm surprised, but I am not going to get any more of that. I'm curious what your thoughts are. That one was definitely really strong. All right, but last, certainly not least, I've got toasted caramel sugar. I love this so much. Now, there were two bars from Bring Back My Bar, the Frosted Ginger Cookie and the Whipped Vanilla Pear that I like absolutely love. Like Those are my favorites from Bring Back My Bar. But if I had to pick one that I had never smelled, it was new to me that I loved, it would be this one. This reminds me a lot of um, heading to camp from Sacerdol Aroma. It's like a burnt sugar, caramel, waffle cone type scent. Reminds you of like a treat that you're gonna get at the boardwalk in the summertime. I wish it was a tad bit stronger. It definitely was more of a medium performer to me, but it smelled so, so good. So I'm probably gonna get like, I'm gonna get at least a six pack but I think I'll probably get two. I'll probably get 12 bars of this because I, I just, 
I loved this one so much. A really, really nice bakery. Well done to Scentsy. But that's it. Those are all of my empties over the last few weeks. Oh, I feel like I'm out of breath at this point and I <laughs> need some water. My throat is parched. But that's everything I have to share with you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing everything that I finished and I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.